Hi everyone, welcome to my salon. My name is Michael Bates. I'm an educator with Matrix and today I'm going to show you a really cool hair cutting technique. You may have noticed a strong 80s influence in hair and trends going on today. People are wearing thicker eyebrows, they're also wearing more high-waisted jeans, and I've seen a lot of mullets and permed hair coming back into trend as well. Usually trends are cyclical in about a 20-year period and 80s are what's the influence right now. So we're seeing it in fashion and makeup and clothing and we're seeing it translating as well into hair. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a really cool short layered shaggy haircut that's gonna be able to capture that 80s influence. We're gonna start by doing four sections. So we're just gonna do a basic plus sign parting down the center and over the top of each ear. And we're gonna start in the crown region when we work with matrix, we do craft regions. And what that is, is areas of the head or where the hair is naturally gonna fall. So we have a front fringe, we have our temporal, we have our occipital, our nape, and then we have our crown. So that's our seven regions of where the hair lives and moves. And as we work through the haircut, that's what I'll be speaking to. So we're gonna start in the crown region on the top, and I'm gonna start in the right back quadrant, and I'm gonna take everything straight up and straight off. If you're doing a haircut, every inch of a haircut will change it into a different look. So if you cut everything at one inch, you're gonna have a nice short pixie kind of style. If you cut everything at about eight inches, you're gonna have a long layered kind of shaggy look that'll fall in around the chin. So depending on where you want your layers and your length to fall will be the determination of where you do your length. We're gonna start by doing the internal layering first is what we're gonna start with this haircut. So I'm gonna come straight up, straight off, and we're gonna do about five inches is where we'll start so that way we can all be on the same page. I'm gonna come in and I'm going to point cut that section off. Okay, so straight up, straight off. You can come in and point cut. You can come in across one direction, turn your angle and then cross cut. And that's gonna give you more of a diffused edge instead of any sharp lines. Now the next step is normally we bring that up and we follow our guide and we usually match everything together section by section. The unique thing about this technique is we're going to use our guide as a reference point and slightly go longer with each section. So we're going to do a disconnected guide as we travel through this haircut. So the next section we're going to continue down maybe about a half inch depending on density or whatever you can comfortably control and we're going to go across that whole quadrant there in the back. So if I turn her this way you can see we went from just behind the ear to the center of the crown subdivision there. Everything will come straight up, straight off. You will take your previously cut section as a guide and you're gonna come straight off of the section that you just cut. You're gonna see where your guide is and slide your fingers just a little bit past that. So maybe about a quarter inch, an eighth inch longer than your previously cut section. And then you'll go through and point cut that off as well. Let's turn you this way so you can see how I'm cutting. So straight up, straight off from that section. There's my guide, slide a little bit past my guide and then cut across and then back cut on that. And you can add more texture if you choose to make it more rugged, but you can see there would be section one and then section two is just a tiniest bit longer. So now again, we're gonna go to section three. We're gonna leave section one behind. So take some, leave some. We're gonna take number two and we're gonna add number three to that. I'll cut this way so you can see. Everything is gonna come straight up, straight off of that section. We'll see where our guide is right there. And we're gonna slide just that tiny bit past that guide and then point cut through and then come back and cross cut across that as well. So what this is doing is creating a little bit of extra texture and movement. There's a lot of times I'll soft shear or cut with two scissors or go back in and do a lot of razor cutting. By doing this technique, you're building in the texture as we go and just adding a little bit of a modern twist on that basic haircut. Another thing that we're doing is starting with our internal movement. The shape of this haircut is more of a triangle section. So instead of being round or square, we're angling everything to that point is where we're going. So now we're on our next section. So we're gonna leave behind the sections that we started. We'll take our guide. We're gonna go all the way across that pie slice in the back. Everything will come straight up, straight off. There's our guide, slightly past that guide. And then we'll take some, leave some. 
and continue working down the back. And again, straight off of where that hair is. So we're down in the nape here. We're gonna come straight up from that. So we're not over directing everything to that crown section. We're kind of traveling back with each section as we go. So now we're back here, slightly longer than the previous one. Point cut that in and then take the rest that's left way down there in that nape and over that up. There we go, a little bit longer. Let that fall down. And now we'll release this and take a look. So you can see this amazing texture that we're starting to build in here. It's releasing the natural texture. We've kept some density along the perimeter in the bottom and we've opened up a lot. We're probably gonna bring this up about shoulder length. So it's just brushing the shoulders, maybe at the collarbone will be an ideal length for this type of haircut. So then the next section we're going to move on is into our front region. So we're gonna just take a diagonal slice across that front quadrant like that straight across, and then we'll use our crown section that we started as our guide. So can I see some thumbs up out there on Facebook Live if you're enjoying this section? Love to do retro type haircuts. So if we pull this up, we can see where our guide was. Again, slide slightly past, we'll point cut across, and then we can come back and cross cut to add a little bit more texture and movement back onto that section. Fantastic opening up, creating that short layer. So these layers are also reminiscent of a short to long, like a concave, or maybe everything over directed up into a 180. So it has that type of feeling, but it's a different approach to cut that, and it's gonna give it a fresher look to it and really open up a lot of this natural texture. All right, our next section, just diagonal, slice across, we're gonna come up, we'll take some, leave some, so that crown section will stay behind. And then we're just on the top. There's our guide, slightly slide past. And then we'll do our point cutting again. And then coming back and cross cutting. Everything always staying open. So as I'm cutting, my hand is this way and I'm cutting like this. I'm not twisting my wrist or getting that type of shape. We wanna stay open palm to palm or open type of technique when we cut. So now everything will come up. If it's too large of a section, you can subdivide it into two smaller sections. So if you need to take a slice here and maybe do like a two inch wide section, straight up, straight off, leave some behind, find your previous guide, and then slightly past, point cut, cross cut across that, and then you can scoop up the rest of that side same thing, find your previous guide, slightly past, connect with your other section. And we'll point that off, fantastic. So now we can see we have those nice short to long layers going through tons of texture, really embracing that 80s feel, that rocker kind of look. All right, so then we'll just switch to the other side and we'll duplicate that same process on the other side. So if you're cutting along at home, this would be a great time to get your mannequin. You were able to watch a little bit at first and get a feel for it. If you have a mannequin there, or maybe a friend that you're able to do a cut on, this is where we can start moving into our live hands-on portion. So again, we'll start in the crown, subdivide into your quadrants right here, just behind the ears where we'll subdivide there. Everything will come straight up, straight off. We'll have a little bit of guide from our previous section on our previous side. Take that up right to that same section at first to get our starting point. Cross cut back, perfect. Take a slice across that quadrant, comb smooth, and then we'll slide just past that and then we'll do our point cut and our cross cut. Slide across. Another great thing you can do is keep some moisture in the hair um, I love to use the products from Raw or Everyday Miracle Treat just to spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner in the hair. So that way, as I'm talking with my guests, I can tell them what I'm using and what I'm recommending. Summertime is coming currently when I'm shooting this. Um, it's a great thing to talk to your clients about maintaining their hair for the summertime if they're going to be swimming or at the beach a lot. Also, if it's in the wintertime and they have a lot of static or in the fall and they're wearing scarves, it's still important, you just have to change what you're talking about to be relevant to the time. Everything comes straight up, straight off. 
previous guide, slightly past, point cut, and then scoop through our last little section. So it's very easy to move quickly through this haircut, but give us this great textured look. And it's fun to start from the internal layering and do it opposite. Usually we start at the bottom and kind of build our way up from the foundation. It's fun to kind of start from the inside and approach something from a different approach and have a different angle towards it. And the clients will notice that and ask, well, you're doing it different than before. So just say, hey, this is a great technique we're gonna do. Let them know that we're doing a different approach, but it's gonna have an amazing end result so they have comfort as well. I have some clients that are very particular and they notice things and they will tell me, oh, you're cutting this different than what you have done in the past. So just having that conversation, this is a different approach. You're gonna get an amazing look. I'm gonna be doing your length last. Um, some people love that. Some people will wanna keep this more shaggy and keep that length. So this is a great haircut for that as well. So point cutting, then cross cutting back. A great tip for when you're point cutting and cross cutting is to close your shear on the way out. So I took some left some, divide it into a controllable section. My previous guide is there, straight up, straight off, drag up a little bit. So you can rather rest across this finger here, point cut and come back. And a key is when you come in to cut, cut on the way out, not on the way in. So as you pull away is when you'll close your scissor. So that way you won't nip yourself. I'll do the other part of this quadrant. Straight up, straight off. There's my guide, a little bit past. Point cut, come back and cross cut. And then the very front section, we'll take that off now. Straight up, straight off. There's the guide from the other side. There's the previous section. Match them together. And then we're gonna finish off this side here. Take some, leave some. Straight up, straight off. There's the previous guide, slide past, use your previous section, and release. So now you're gonna see these great short layers through the top, a lot of movement, a lot of texture in the hair, and then we still have all of this length through the sides. So if they like that more shagged kind of feel, more of the 80s rock band, you can definitely leave that length through there. I'm gonna thicken that up a little bit. So for that, I'm gonna move her up, maybe. There it is. I'm used to the pump on the chair with your leg. I didn't have that with the mannequin. Awesome. Okay, so diagonal section going back. So everything's gonna come straight up, straight off. Everything will come down. So you can see where we've started to create these shorter layers and texture. Like I said, about collarbone is where I wanna start here. So I'm gonna bring this down, get that section, gently close between my things, and this is where we're gonna point cut and cross cut across the bottom. A trick for this is I use my ring finger to stabilize my shear, and I hold between my middle finger and my pointer fingers where I can grasp the hair, and then I can use my ring finger as a guide to know where I'm cutting at. Now I will move to my back and I will point cut in there, cross cut back. I'll drop down the top. Most likely this won't reach because we already did our internal layering and our movement there. So let's get the momentum moving. If you have any friends that you know haven't logged on yet, please share this with them so they can follow along with this site and we can continue and have a great group of everyone cutting and working together. And then we're point cutting in here, any little free ends. Okay, so that completed that side. Now we're gonna turn. We'll do that diagonal section forward again. There we go. So instead of just being really square, I'm doing a little bit of a follow the natural round. I'm gonna see where my length is from the other side. So you could use your comb there and match things up. So that's a great way to get your bobs to have the same point is to start from the front, which is a great technique to do. So I can see where that's falling in a little bit more here. And then that gives me a reference point of where to start. Perfect. So now I'm able to come in, follow that guide, rest on my ring finger, and then I'm able to cross cut and point cut across. 
Not a lot of tension if they do have wave or movement to their hair, just gently closing your fingers to hold. Rotate them and then move into the back section and cross cut. Really free, just leaving everything open. I'm not doing tiny, tiny little point cuts. I'm more deep point cutting or opening things up to get some movement. And now I have a guide from the previous side so I can just match up these two points now. Again, kind of fun just to start from the front instead of the back, just a different approach to match everything up. Drop this top down, see if there's anything we need to trim up here. Looks like a little piece came down. Fantastic. All right, next thing we're gonna do is move into the face framing or the directional graduation. So we will start in the front and we will take a diagonal section following the head shape round. So a nice flow going down. Everything can come forward. If you need to point your knuckle or your finger is where the elevation of the face framing will be. So I want this to be pretty steep. So I'm gonna aim more towards her nose when I'm pointing with my finger. And I'm gonna do some deep point cutting here to just kind of shatter this out a little bit on the sides. Come forward. And then point cut in there. Nice, I like how that opened it up. Now you'll drop your next section. You'll already have your guide from underneath and then you'll have your guide that you just established. So everything can come forward. That looks great, nothing left to cut because we already have all of our layers. Perfect, so that's starting to fall in. Still having that strong feeling of a lot of weight through the top and then this softness and a little bit of wispiness through the bottom. So we're gonna go to our other side. Now on this side, we have to switch. So to get that same finger angle, we will now point down and we will use our knuckle instead of our fingertip. Our knuckle will be the guide that points towards her nose. Same thing, diagonal section clean combing, everything will come forward, clip that hair out of the way nice and smooth, directional graduation forward, when the guide falls out, that's where you go, knuckle to the nose, point cut, drag forward, knuckle to the nose, point cut, cross cut to open that up where there's some density, a little bit more right in the front, right there, that corner. Awesome. All righty. Let's see, can I have some hearts or some smiles see how everybody's doing? Are we following along? Are we loving this 80s haircut? My inspiration kind of came from the Breakfast Club and different types of looks like that when it was just really shaggy and messy, like 80s influence coming through. I have to get this model some mom jeans and do some thick brows for her makeup. Awesome, that looks great. Drop this down, doesn't reach, perfect. Now we're gonna move on to our front fringe region. So I want these to be like long and moppy, kind of just like brushing her eyelashes is my goal where I wanna go with these long fringe. So usually if you just let the hair fall where it naturally wants to be, you can brush everything down and find where the natural part is if they have a calic or where the hair pushes. And this is gonna be the front fringe region. Usually it's just a little bit past the high point forward and we just kind of come on a triangle coming down. So again, kind of comb the hair, see where the grains or the ridges are, pick a ridge and follow that down. And usually that'll be the natural split where the bangs fall. So just take a minute to play with them, clean it up a little bit, see where that hair wants to go. Awesome, that looks great coming forward. And now we're gonna take everything to a center right to the, about the bridge of the nose. So everything will come down forward. We will lay it in our fingers and just gently pinch to hold it there and lightly over directing everything into the center. So kind of like a pinch there. We're not gonna have a lot of tension, but we wanna have a little bit of drag on those sides to come into the center and right about the bridge of the nose is where we want to fall in there. No tension, just gently push. Perfect. All right, I got my finger underneath there as my rest or my guide, and then I will point cut in, 
and then cross cut back. This is coming out fantastic. Love these 80s type feelings. Let's get that little piece. It wants to be banged, so we'll add it in. Again, just going with the natural fall, seeing how the hair wants to flow. That cut. And normally I would take this up and knock off this corner or texturize in there a little bit, but I want this to feel really moppy and kind of heavy and just coming down. So I'm just going to leave that kind of free and coming down and not open that up too much. That's great. And now here on the sides feels a little heavy because we have this disconnection. So I like how it has that 80s type of feel. I want to open that up just a little bit so it doesn't get that little puppy dog ear feel. So to adjust that and give me some more movement through there, I'm going to take my diagonal forward like I did my face framing, pull forward, pinch in with my fingers and flip it up. So let's do that again. So I came in with my comb, I put my fingers like my palm towards her face, and then I flipped that up. And now that I have that flipped up, I can gently go in and open and close and slide out just to open up a little bit of texture through those ends. So that's going to give me a little bit more movement through that hair, but maintain that length and that thickness. I still want to keep that density. That's perfect. So it just gave us a little bit of movement through the sides. And I will continue that technique anywhere I feel there's any density or I want to open it up or give it some more lightness. So diagonal forward, a little bit of a flip, and then I can just gently open and close through those ends. Beautiful. We'll duplicate that on the other side. Diagonal forward, come in, flip up, open and close. Sliding through, so gently moving your scissor, not just sliding, slide cutting. A little bit more in this front section right here, open that up. Love this kind of movement in the hair, just allowing the hair to have the natural freedom. A little bit more wild and free, uh, bohemian influence. And it's great for beachy weather too, just kind of wash and wear hair. Awesome. So that was a great way to get this shaggy 80s feeling kind of going on the hair. I love the length, just kind of brushing the shoulder and the collar. That looks great. These nice heavy layers going through the top, a full heavy fringe going on, and lots of movement. So I'm going to go in with some high amplified mousse right now, just to give me some more body. Most people feel that they have thin hair. So our clients might come in and have a lot of density, or they may even have coarse hair, but their opinion is they want it to be fuller or thicker. So even thick or full haired clients may feel to themselves that their hair is thin. So don't discount a volume line such as Amplify for only people that have thin or fine hair. There are a lot of people that have full thick hair that it feels thin to them. So that's where Amplify is a great range to be able to share with them to give them that body fullness and texture. Even if they have thick hair, they still want bigger hair or fuller feeling hair. And that's where Amplify is going to be great. Another great one is Wonder Boost. And you just apply that at the scalp area. So take a little section, lift it up and spray into the scalp area just to give that little extra volume and that lift at the base. So great to show your clients if they're going to do a round brush blow dry or even just for these natural kind of looks. So I'm just letting it air dry, working my high amplified and my wonder boost through and just really giving it this messy 80s kind of tossly wild feeling to it and just encouraging those ends to go where they went. And this is where you could go in with the diffuser. You could let it air dry. If you chose to round brush it out, it's a beautiful haircut to round brush out, but I love it just in this natural messy kind of state. 
letting the curls go where they want and enhancing everything. And again, I'm working with the Amplify from Total Results. Amazing product. It's a classic one of our brands and has stood the test of time to be there when our clients need that style support and that volume in their hair. Awesome, so there's a closer look. Let's give her a little spin. So we have just that wild, messy kind of look, really enhancing that texture through there. A long kind of messy fringe that they can brush aside and kind of have those curtain bangs if they want it more modern or they want that heavier, more 80s feel, they can just wear them down and kind of messy. But I love these kind of looks. So thank you for spending your time with me to go over this haircut. And please stay tuned to some of our other friends on these caravans. They're going to show you some amazing color techniques and some dress work. So follow us for more information. And thank you so much for joining me today.